all you've probably been hearing for the past, geez, how long has it been? Year and month, maybe two months now, from Republicans and the MAGA folks, the Trump supporters, the QAnon believers, is about all the massive amount of election fraud that happened in the 2020 presidential election that basically caused Joe Biden to fraudulently win the presidential election when in reality, when you actually fix the results to remove all the illegal votes, you get a Donald Trump victory. None of this is true. I want to be crystal clear. That is all rampant conspiracy theory and misinformation. Joe Biden officially and legitimately won the 2020 presidential election. But still, Republicans continue to harp on the fact that there is voter fraud and Dems are voting when they're not supposed to vote, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, folks, I got some good news for those Republicans. They discovered some voter fraud down in Florida. Let me let one of the local news affiliates cue you all in into what exactly happened with this voter fraud. Let me tell you, the Trump people are going to be so angry at what they hear here. I'm already, I'm already, it's just unbelievable. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Lisa, it appears this may be the first time in at least 20 years that anyone in Sumter County has been arrested and prosecuted for casting more than one vote. And we could find very few similar cases in other Central Florida counties. This is huge. Huge in Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis. You got Republicans basically owning the state. All of its branches, Republican-led. Obviously... We have some devious Dems down in Florida trying to cheat to win. Let's continue here. That's what I'm assuming. No one answered the door at the home of Jay Ketsick. He's one of three residents of the villages who've recently been arrested on charges related to voter fraud. Investigators say Ketsick voted by mail in Florida during the 2020 election and then cast a second absentee ballot in his home state of Michigan. Disgusting. Disgusting. Likewise, while living in this home in the villages, investigators say Joan Halstead voted twice, once in Florida and once by absentee ballot in New York. We don't know who Ketzik and Halstead voted for in the. Now we don't know who they voted for. That uh, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, they're in the villages, so maybe that in Florida, and we know that is a, a older folks area in Florida, and you know, older white boomer aged people tend to vote Trump, but but we just won't know. We just won't know. Um, Let's continue. Maybe this local affiliate has something more to add, but we just it's just impossible to know who these people voted for. 2020 election records show both are registered as Republicans in Florida and both express support for former President Donald Trump on their Facebook pages. <laughs> <A> third... <laughs> of course, of course. Republican voter from the villages, John Ryder, was arrested on a warrant while at a Port Canaveral cruise ship terminal. Ooh. Of course, of course. I mean, come on, look at these, look at these two. Of course they voted for Donald Trump. Multiple times. Illegally. Right there are your illegal votes. Right there are your illegal voters. Right there is your voter fraud. It, it is literally like every time this comes out that there was some sort of voter fraud in uh, perpetuated in some uh, town in America. It's always some older white person uh, who is a registered Republican who a lot of times they actually find out because they come out and say that they voted the, the, the ballot is intercepted or something. And they're trying to illegally cast extra votes for Donald Trump. Of course. Of course. I just love how the local affiliate did this, though, where they were like, we can't know who they voted for, but I want to hear that one more time. It's funny. New York. We don't know who Ketzik and Halstead voted for in the 2020 election. Records show both are registered as Republicans in Florida and both express support for former President Donald Trump on their Facebook pages. <laughs> what is this? Uh... Like, look at that picture of Donald Trump. Unbelievable. Um, look at these people. 
Unbelievable. Well, one thing you can guarantee, though, is that they'll receive a slap on the wrist. I, I mean, I'm not holding out hope that they're going to be made an example of. Um, you know, in Texas, I believe you had uh, a black woman who left prison and voted because she did not just once. And but she did not realize that being that she had a felony record, um, she wasn't eligible to vote. And she got sent back to prison for five years or something like that. Of course, because she was a black woman. Uh, these two, and who who even like obviously I know in a court of law, ignorance of the law is not an excuse for breaking the law. But I think it should take into account uh, the punishment that is doled out. And this black woman had a completely legit. She just didn't know that she couldn't vote. She was released from prison. She thought she had. All of her rights, once again. Which, if you ask me, you should. You did the. She did the time. I, you know, even if you, whatever you stand on the whole prison, the issue of prison, where I probably don't agree with people who uh, even feel like, uh, you know, but whatever. Um, wherever you fall on the issue of prison, I think we could, we should all be able to agree that once you are released, society should take you back as a full fledged citizen once again. Um, which gives you the ability to vote. Should, in my opinion. Um, this woman did not know that even though she did the time, uh, society does not still does, still doesn't view her as having done that. And so she voted without knowing that she wasn't allowed to. And she went back to jail. These two, who clearly, I mean, all the talk of their, their heroes, Donald Trump's talk of voter fraud and casting multiple ballots that the Dems obviously do to cheat, to win illegal voting, voter fraud. They knew they were doing wrong and they did it anyway purposefully for Donald Trump. And I would be shocked, shocked if there was some sort of significant punishment. They'll get at most, if you, if I was to guess, I would be happy to be wrong. So if I'm wrong, good. But at most, I'm going to guess like maybe a couple days in, in, in a jail cell If at most. Maybe maybe slap on the hand, wrist fine. Maybe if, maybe, in, maybe in the four figures, if not just a couple hundred bucks, if even that. I, I don't know. But it wouldn't surprise me. 